how do you address the differences in like, for instance, the educational system uh, between inner city schools, which usually have you know, worse infrastructure, um, many times have lack qualified teachers or lack teachers, period, versus schools in <coughs> affluent neighborhoods. How do you try to get justice uh, to, the stu to the students living in inner cities versus those living in uh, affluent neighborhoods. Right. Thank so I mean, the, the answer to me is more individual freedom, not less. One of the one of the grave uh, one of the one of the great problems is that people think government action is what rectifies these these situations. It doesn't matter how much money you dump into inner city public schools, if number one you don't have any sort of of community or family structure that supports education. And this isn't just true of black communities. It's true. There's J D Vance's Hillbilly Elegy is a really worthwhile book. You should read it. It's it's all about. Uh, a, a kind of downtrodden white communities in Ohio, and they have some, some similar problems to a lot of inner city black communities. The, the solution here is, is twofold. One, give parents more choice in where they send their kids to school. And two, a reversion to an actual belief in parental responsibility. Because the truth is that... The idea that, that kids are failing in the inner city because they just have bad teachers isn't true. I mean, if you've ever met the teachers in the inner city, some of them are wonderful. And some of them, they're really doing the best they can, I think. I think the, the, the bigger problem that you have is when you have broken families and you have, uh, and you have people who are not inculcating the value of education. And when you have people who are, who are saying to young people, and this is true all over the country regardless of race, and this is one of my problems with this election is I think all of the candidates in their own way are basically saying you're a victim of the society so individual responsibility no longer devolves to you. If you actually have parents saying to their own kids, okay, I expect you to do well. If I expect you to get an education. It's not, it's not a suggestion. It's an expectation that you're going to work hard. Then there really is, that's, that's the only way that this is ever going to get solved. It, it, parents are the I have my own kids. I'm, I'm the one, in the end, even if there are no, I'm not going to send my kid to public school. I'm going to send my kid to private schools because the public schools in my area are a failure. Uh, LAUSD spends about $10,000 per student per year, and it's the worst school district in America. Uh, I'm going to send my kids to private school, but even if there were no private schools available, my job is educating my kids just like my job is feeding my kids. My job is to take care of my kids. If I do nothing else in my life, taking care of my kids is my sole responsibility, and people who fail to recognize this... <laughs> You want to talk about what's the number one problem in America, that's the number one problem in America, is people running away from their responsibility to their kids and to their family members and to their parents. If we all took care of our kids and our family members and our parents, there wouldn't be any need for the government to come in and screw everything up royally like it does. Yeah.